I think the only way the Endwalker video can beat this one is the beginning of this one where they're where they're showing like Shiro or no, what's his name? Not Shiro, that's Guild Wars. Um like the beginning of this video is a little slow. So I think the only thing that Endwalker could do is match the hype of this trailer. But fill that beginning boring space of this trailer with something cool. Cooler than the beginning. Because the beginning of this is where it's weakest. And then when it goes into like when it's still talking about like the Stormblood stuff. You know what I mean? And so, and then it picks up when it gets into the Shadowbringer stuff. So, if you make even that beginning part more interesting, and then you you match this, I don't think it's possible to beat this one. If you match it, just make it longer, then I think that's the only way that Endwalker could beat the Shadowbringers movie. And, oh, add Alfie to the opening. That's a very, very easy way to, to get major points in the Endwalker opening. Is if is if you add Alfie? Yes, yes, very good call. Because that that is a major major downside of of the Shadowbringers opening is it doesn't have Alfie. But we know now that they've made a super high CG Alfie and Alize from the trailer for Endwalker. So there's hope. <laughs> That's the next Kingdom Hearts game spec. No, that's the next. That's the Kingdom Hearts game after the next Kingdom Hearts game when they're recapping the next Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> hey, Malarok, how you doing? Happy Final Fantasy XIV patch day. We are just starting. I figured there was going to be a queue, not a very long one. Hundred percent more sassy Alizama and Walker. Yes, yes, I told. I love Alize's sass. Uh, uh. Stormblood made me like Stormblood. Two of the best things that come out of Stormblood was the character development for Alize made me fall in love with Alize, and um, the uh, the boss battle music was extremely hype in Stormblood. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts three point one four one five nine Circle of Repi. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, for sure, bees. I expect any game that comes out on the uh, the PS5 to look amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do I play this game? How long has it been? It's been a while. It has been a while. Oh my. Hi, Luna. How are you? It's been a while. How you been? Standing in this desert. I'm sorry I left you standing in the desert. This Kyrie is perfect for this. It is. I love our Kyrie emote. It's been 86 years, Luna. Do you even know what these buttons do? What do these buttons do? I have no idea. Flashiness. Under the breach. Under the breach. Pray return to Revenant's Toll. Hi, Ms. Mio. How you doing? Happy Tuesday. Luna has the mother of all sunburns. She does. Hey, what's up, Cal? I see Cal in the free company. How are you? Oh my god. Look at that. That is... bedazzled. <gasps> There's Cal! Hi, Cal! Ha! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgot how cute this game is. DK came with launch. Works me a bit, it's moment doesn't line up with Stormblood's. What? Donkey Kong? Look at all these K names Kanita, Kazumi, Kai. They Wait, they're together. I see what they're doing. Alfie, my most perfect boy. I hope he gets his new outfit. In the face of this new draconic threat, we would indeed benefit from Estinian's presence. Yet I cannot help but wonder how Kryle and 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't read the words. I can't help but wonder without thinking Sex in the City. If you've seen Sex in the City, you can't read those words without thinking of Carrie Bradshaw, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Alfie's been watching since Sex in the City. I can't help but wonder how Kryle and Tataru intend to locate him. They certainly seem confident, however. Confident, however, what? Hi, Alizé. My children! Alizé is waiting patiently for the return of certain scions, not least of all you. I, I'm here, I'm sorry. Good news, Luna. Thancred and Uriange have finished their tour of Garlemald and are on their way back here even as we speak. As we still haven't heard anything on the towers from the Alliance, I'm hoping they might be able to shed some light on things. They're due to arrive at any moment now, so let's see what they have to say, huh? Okay. Is it really, Cal? Wow. Ah, welcoming party. You needn't have gone to the trouble. From what I hear, you've been more than busy enough as it is. Honestly, you might have waited for me to return before discovering a cure for tempering. As it is, I can't even pretend to have been involved. Well, if it's any consolation, I myself was little more than a spectator. The lion's share of the credit must go to Alizé, Graha, and Luna, but I believe I speak for the rest of us when I say we are proud to have rendered what little assistance we could. I love you, baby. Lance, my beautiful boy, I love him so much. I want to see him in, like, super high CG. Do it. He can't have his, like, he's gonna get his, like, floating guns. He's gonna get his floating guns and be all, like, awesome. I'm so excited. As you will also have heard, though, it hasn't all been tales of triumph. Just as we were taking a step towards finally addressing the primal threat, a pile of fresh problems landed in our lap. That's what we do. He's gonna get his pew pews! I'm so excited! Anyway, it's good to have you back. Though I can't help noticing that we're one Uriange short of a scouting party. You haven't lost him, have you? He drowned. Sorry. Sakun Freak, thank you for the 41 months. How you doing? Thank you so much. Alfie is the best son. I will sit at the dinner table and talk to Alfie about Sex in the City. Yes. <laughs> oh, I couldn't lose him if I tried, and I did try, repeatedly. But no, he decided to linger in El Amigo to apprise Raubon and the others of how the land lies in Garamal. That's right, like, everybody's in this patch. I don't know if it's, like, the first part or the second part or whatever, but, like, all the nations coming together. We need everybody's help to get to the moon. Then mayhap you would do the same for us. Indeed. It was just as Lee said. Worse, in fact. Devastation as far as the eye could see. Nerva and the... Th and the... Th third? However, were notably by... by their absence. Were notable by their absence, sorry. Might they have met their end at the hands of Xenos and Fandaniel? I'm sorry, Finn Daniel is like the best name. <laughs> perhaps, or perhaps they simply lost the will to fight. You see, the capital has been plunged into a deathly silence, with one exception, the Imperial Palace. It was a busy place before the war, but it has grown busier still, with throngs of soldiers and civilians working there day and night to rebuild, or rather transform it. Transform it into what? That is a difficult question to answer. The construction is vast and unsettling to behold, like something from a nightmare. Oh no, they're building the nightmare tower. Kirtana, hi! How are you? A better name than Bosphoramus. Oof. Oof. Bosphoramus is a good name. Good night, Jasafel. Oh, Cal, tell her I say hi. Um, Bosphoramus is is a king's name. Even even as great and goofy as it is, it is it is the name fit for a king. Fan Daniel, I just is on another level. So, ah, uh, better is is a matter of of perspective. Working on the MSQ, Kirtana. Happy patch day! Hope you're enjoying it. Romy B. Yes. 
According to Uriange, certain aspects of its design were clearly devised with the manipulation of ether in mind. Magitek, in other words. Yet as unnerving as said edifice was, it was nothing next to the sight of its builders. They swarmed the place like so many insects, working with nary a word exchanged between them. No one overseeing construction, no one barking orders. It was as if they were possessed or tempered. We wanted to investigate more closely, but given our suspicions, it seemed wiser not to take the risk. Hmm. If Fandaniel could bind Bahamut to his will, might he have done the same to the people of Garlemald? Whatever the truth may be, this information is certain to prove valuable. You have our thanks. Well, be, be sure to save some for Uriange, which reminds me, I have a message from Alamigo. Roban is hosting a meeting to discuss the latest findings on the towers, as he requested our presence. Then why not leave that to us? You must be weary from your mission. Nah, nobody needs any rest. No, no, I'm fine. Those towers have been on my mind since I first spied one on the way back, and I'm keen to get to the bottom of this. In that case- Hey, Stola, I want your figure! <laughs> in that case, I shall stay and begin looking into an- <laughs> Sorry, Stola. I shall stay and begin looking into another matter, as I promised Cryo. We need not all attend. Very well. I suggest the rest of us make our way to Alamigo forthwith. The sooner we leave, the more time we will have to speak with Uriange before the meeting. Look at Alfie taking charge. So proud of him. Welcome back, Noah. <laughs> hey, Vilkrin. Oh no, you're- oh, I didn't even think of eye level. Oh no. We'll have to see when I- when I get to the dungeon. If you're curious to know what I will be doing in your absence, let us speak of it another time. At present, Kryle and I have no more than a hypothesis. Okay. Oh, I missed you all. My back is hurting me a little bit. <laughs> In other words, she's doing nothing until Kryle gets back. Hey, she's earned some rest too. We all have. Fatter cat. Who ha does anybody actually have the fatter cat plush or bean bag? I wanted it, but it's over two hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy cow. The Royal Menagerie is still closed to civilians. Fan Daniel and his pet certainly left their mark. Oh my god. Hi, Thancred. Although I was only in Revenant's Toll a short while, I did manage to squeeze in a brief drink with Flamin. Spring water only, it being a flying visit. Talk to me, Graha. I wonder if there have been any developments regarding the Amalja abductions. It can be no mere coincidence that the incidents began occurring just th as the towers first appeared. Hmm. How cool is, like, Gratia is just, like, a part of our crew now. Cal! Uh, uh, Al uh, Alf Alfie? Did we talk to Alfie? Hi, Alfie! Where are you, Alfie? There's Rianje. No, Alfie. While we may safely assume that the Teleforoi are behind the works being carried out on the Imperial Palace. We can only guess at their purpose. Okay, I think that's everybody. Alright, hurry on. Uriange is very popular.
I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's the same as patch days in Guild Wars, which I always play on launch. But I don't I actually don't usually play 14 patch days on launch, so that's new in this game for me. My friends, much and more have I heard of your travails in our absence. Heartened I am I to see you all hail and whole. As are we to see you safely returned from your mission, Arianje. I trust Thancred made you feel welcome. Well, well, if it isn't Alphano and his merry band. Hey, you. Arenvald, whatever are you doing here? When we spoke via Link Pearl, you told me you'd be away on a mission. And who's to say this isn't part of it? But enough about that. It's good to see you looking so similar. I thought you'd have grown a bit taller after a whole year in another world, but apparently not. Oh, no, we like Alfie Little. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. While my soul may be a year older, my body has hardly aged, as you are well aware. What was that in italics, as you are well aware? What? <laughs> and may I remind you that we Elizin are known to be late bloomers, especially in terms of our height. Mark my words, the day will come when an even great when even a great Orox such as yourself will crane your neck to meet my eye. No, that day will never be here. Ever. Alfie, you will be small and my precious little boy forever. Ah, it was not until my twentieth summer that I myself outgrew my boyish proportions. Though Mo and Brita towered over me nonetheless. 20. It, it, aren't Alfie and Alizé almost 20? Arenvald brings out the best in Alphino, doesn't he? They both seem so at ease in each other's company. It's almost endearing. Aww. So what exactly brings you here? I don't remember much about Arenvald. Oh, Fordola mostly. We need to go over a few things before we set out. Set out. Wait, does this have something to do with the towers? Ah, we'll give you that impression. Actually, tell me later. You've got a meeting to go to. I'll see you afterwards, alright? I, I, every time I ask how old Alfie and Alizé are, I get like a different answer. I have no idea. If Fordola is going with him, that must mean... My apologies. As our involved rightly pointed out, we have a meeting to attend. Let us be about it. You're acting a little weird, Alfie. Are you having feelings about things, Alfie? Oh my god, everybody's here! Look at us all on one side, like... All the Ere leaders begin, on the other I would side. I like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Urianger. It is no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But, verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. He sounded like he had trouble saying that. <laughs> in the bubble, they stay forever 16, but if the bubble was removed, they would be in their 20s. Yeah. Yeah, well, game time passing, right? Oh, all of 14 happens within a five-year bubble. So all of ARR to now has happened within a single year or something. Yeah, same with Kingdom Hearts. Like, it's a 20-year-old series, but it's been, like, what, a year and a half in game? <laughs> so, well, two, two and a half years now. 16, everything says they're 16. So they still got some time to go before they grow. Oh, absolutely, Cal. Absolutely. Theatrix, 
He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. But since then, we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. <laughs> Look at Alfie and Alizé in the middle. They're so little. And notice... Hi, Don! Notice how we're sitting next to Grahatia. <laughs> Uh, the cat race? That's what I am. This is my character right here. Um, Mikote. She's a Mikote. I modeled her after Human Luna from Sailor Moon. That's like what her looks are modeled after. I know- Oh, I didn't even notice Bamerick is like- I got my two favorite guys right at the end of the table by me. That's right. That's right. Sitting right next to- uh, If Alfie and Alizé switch spots, it would be perfect. But it makes sense that Alizé would claim- She probably did the, like, shuffling, like, they probably claim the seats next to me. Because Grahatia and Alizé are the ones that, like, have the hots for the- <laughs> Loki have the hots for the Warrior of Light. So, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> PG and Grahatia are holding hands under the table. We are. We are. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Man, I can't believe everyone is here. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Ah, uh, Lise, I miss you. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Oh. Well, luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able <laughs> to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porksies do their work. The Porksies. She's like, I'm, I'm used to people trying to kill me. Yes, this is the all new voice acting cast. They're, they're all really good. Are you saying they were tempered? Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. Oh, these towers are, like, making people, like, are brainwashing people into doing what the bad guy wants. Oh, man. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Ooh! What? Glory be to Garlemald. I, I know, it's Garlemald. They're, they're brainwashing everyone. They're bad. Oh, I missed the picture of us sitting together. I wasn't ready. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities. Yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Are they going to turn Garlemald into like a primal? They're going to summon the primal Garlemald? Would that the unsettling news <gasps> ended there. It's Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. What did he say? I have no idea. I was fixing my hair. What did he say? Beast tribes. Beast tribes. Hey, baby. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Are they towers? The abductions. Mm-hmm. He can abduct me. What? I don't... What did he... I, he said something. I just nod. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black-garbed figures. Shackled Ixel. He can shackle me. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. Temple Knights, Garlean's arms and armor, um, um, he's saying stuff. He's saying stuff that's important. Uh, okay. So they had, okay, Garlean, Gar arms and armor. Okay, got it. So the Empire There's is all the three of us. Threat. <laughs> Thirsty on me. 
With the support of Xenos, Hi, it Nana seems Mo. likely that Van Daniel has rallied a faction of the I haven't the faintest clue what Grahatia just said. The Not the faintest clue what he just <laughs> Van Daniel, yes, Van Daniel, he's bad. He's bad. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion. Oh, Hien's not here. Findings with Doma. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Yeah, these towers are bad. Okay. Given the nature of the enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Justinian? Oh! Hi! What? <laughs> Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate ah. the towers without fear of being turned. Ah, I don't remember, like, their lore I, at all. We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. She's uh, she's not too happy about it. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arnvald? Are you worried for Arnvald's safety? I am. Come on, let's talk outside. Someone has to remind me what what is the deal with Arnvald and Arnvald and Alfie. I don't remember. There's so many characters. Arnvald is a half Garlean whose mom hurt him real bad, hence the hair covering his forehead. Cordola got the echo false. Oh, okay. I remember that she got the echo falsely put in via the revenant system thing. Right. I remember that. Cordola and Arnvald have been fighting the primals for us while we're dealing with the first. Your best bros. <laughs> Does our boy have a beef with the white haired anime man? <laughs> oh my god. Speak with Arnvald. Where? There's Alfie. Oh, there it is. I accept that numbers can prove a hindrance when infiltrating enemy territory, but to send only two? Alfie's so worried! They became bros during the Drowned City dungeon in Stormblood. Okay. Like, I remember the character, I just don't remember too much about him. Oh, Fordola's over here. Hey. If it's small talk you're after, look elsewhere. I am after small talk. Who else is here? Just them. Now that it's out in the open, I don't have to keep it under my proverbial hat anymore. Oh, I have a mail. So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamaldor and Vmar at Ralga's reach as well. Arnvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. 
And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> and you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. <laughs> She's not happy. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Eldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. Ah, I know. I'm waiting for it, RJ. <clears throat> so the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head! I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Evil shit. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. Yes, fist bump, bro. Come on, Alfie's like, <laughs> ah, la 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 la. <laughs> she angry. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate? I don't know. I don't think they are done touching. Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. Pagalthan. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so. I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Well, we best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap, when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loch Seld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Huh? Take care, Ray. God, get a room, you two. It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. Well, I still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Right? Can't turn the favor if I'm Alpha's not there. just like enamored with this guy. Seriously. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Fan Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that given what's coming. Wasn't Alfie like enamored with a Sinian too? He just like, he gets very, um, he gets very like enamored with these like strong warriors. These tall, strong, hunky warriors. <laughs> He was the rebound when Astinian went MIA. I know, mean, that's what I mean. Like, he liked Astinian, too. Like, he he's very... He very much looks up to these... These men. 
<laughs> yeah, as a type. <laughs> I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people <laughs> see in a lifetime. I look like he's 12. <laughs> no. The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. Not too far off, But though. I'll be damned if I don't try. <laughs> They're counting on me. On what us. does he think of Lollafells? So let's give it our all. If he thinks Alfie looks 12. Talk about a size difference. Look at him still watching him walk away. He does not want for conviction. That much is certain. So let us have faith in him. Him and Fordola both. <laughs> him and Fordola, yeah. Fordola's there too. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Oh my gosh, someone go to AO3. How many Final Fantasy XIV fanfics are there? And then what is what is the top ship with Alfie? <laughs> I need to know. Can you hear me? It's Totaru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Hi, Timey. Have you? And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. <laughs> but he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Ishgard. That's where our husband lives. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Is that our airship? Send the Bonanza to Ishgard. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. While you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. Estinian is like the house cat that gets out and Kryle and Tataru are the ones that... The, the ones the homeowners ask to catch him because they have a knack for fun. <laughs> He's a house cat. Yes. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. I hope so. Nothing? Nothing, Jupiter? Under the breach. Really? Final Fantasy XIV has 13,000 fanfics. <laughs> of course, wow, it's spread out. Of course, the uh, the most the most popular pairing is Grahatia and the Warrior of Light, of course. And then Emmett Selk and the Warrior of Light. Oh, I see why he's so popular now. Of course, all the all the pairings are with the Warrior of Light. Of course, um, Grahatia, Emmet Selk, Harshafont, oh, and then Amerik. Thank you. Six hundred and ninety-one fanfics with Amerik and the Warrior of Light. Uh, Xenos and the Warrior of Light. Thancred, Astinian. Oh, Astinian and Amerik. Wow, four. Hundred fanfics with Astinian and Amerik. And then Warrior of Light and Astinian. Emmett Selk 
Oh, Emmett Selk and the Warrior of Light as not a pair, as not a romantic pairing, but just like hanging out, friends. A Zem and Emmett Selk. Oh, those are those are the top ones. Wow, most popular character, of course, Warrior of Light. Um, and then Emmett Selk. Wow, that surprises me. There's a there's twelve hundred fans. <laughs> this is what we're doing right now. Uh, how many with Peachy and her distraction? All of them. There, are, I would show you the page that I'm looking at, but there's like X-rated fix like on the left side, and that has all kinds of tags I don't want to show on screen. Um, Alfie. There are. Let's see. Relationships with Alfie? Okay. There's Alfie. We need Alfie and the Warrior of Light as friends. Oh, there we go. There's 74 with Alfie and the Warrior of Light just like friends. But then there's 194 with romance between Alfie and the Warrior of Light. See, that's. To me, that's wrong. Alfie. Okay, the top ship for Alfie, besides the Warrior of Light, is Astinian. Okay. Yes, okay. What if we exclude character... Oh boy, for the Warrior of Light to not be even in it. At all. Alfie and Gaius? Alfie and Astinian. Alfie and Gaius. Alfie... Oh, still Warrior of Light. Alfie... Uh, no. Alfie and... Uh, uh... Wow. Not a, not a lot of Alf shipping Alfie with people. The biggest is the Warrior of Light, which is everything and everybody. But then Alfie and Astinian as, uh, as understandable. Okay, now we know. Not surprising. Not surprising. I can see Warrior of Light at Warrior of Light and Gaius, but not Alfie. Yeah, I didn't see. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure everything's there. But yeah, no, didn't Warrior of Light and Gaius not not a popular ship. Gaius gets around. Well, the idea of a Zem and Emmet, yeah, that was that was one of the that was in like the top 15 ships. Is a Zem and Emmet. Space races Williams. No! Oh, it's fun. It's fun to look up, like, what are the most popular pairings in, like, a fandom. Because uh, uh, AO3 gives you a, a really good gauge of that. I get the impression Arinvald is a lot more apprehensive than he lets on. He will have been grateful Alphino was there to see him off. Aww. Astinian Wormblood, the Azor Dragoon. His was another name that featured prominently in the history books, and it will be fascinating to meet the man in the flesh. Ooh. Gaius is hot, though he can't be any worse than Emmett. I think Gaius is hot. Alphino is keen to track down Astinian. So Astinian was bound for Ishgard. Whatever it is that brings him home, we must hope it will keep him there long enough for us to find him. Come, there's no time to lose. Estinian is... He is, uh... Flighty. Here be dragons! Yeah! Alfie's ready to find his man. He's got two men now. Oh, people are like obsessed with Emmett. I I don't know why. I'm not an Emmett fan. Like like I you know I had sympathy for him at the end and all that, but like like people are hardcore into Emmett. 
I don't get it. <laughs> Assuming we find him, this will be my first encounter with the famous Astinian. And if he's half the man Alphano claims, I fully expect to go weak at the knees. Perhaps do a bit of fainting while I'm at- Oh my god! Even Alize is saying like, oh, Alfie like fawns over Ast <laughs> Astinian! <laughs> I have only visited Ishgar once before, after the devastation of the Eighth Umbral Calamity, to see the place in all its former, forgive me, in all its original glory is tantalizing prospect indeed. She knows! She does! Oh, she knows. She knows her brother. Everybody knows that Alfie's, like, got the hots for a city in. <laughs> One way or another, we're getting a son-in-law, yes. Oh my god. All present? Good. Let us split up and search for Astinian. I hope you find him first. Since we're relatively new to this place, Graha and I will look around the open spaces, the squares and markets and whatnot. You and Luna can delve into the nooks and crannies. Yay! Very well. Let us reconvene at the airship landing later, with or without Astinian. Good luck. I'm just gonna look for him. I think I shall begin at the Sky Steel Manufactory, so perhaps you could try the congregation? Lucia may well have heard news of our friend's return. Okay. I thought we were gonna stick together. Bert. Let me in! Let me in! I'm his wife! It's that same Merc's office. Handeloop. Hi, Handeloop. Good evening to you, Warrior of Light. Lord Americk sent word that you would be attending the meeting in El Amigo, so I gather you have not come in search of him. <laughs> you don't know me very well. To what then do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I see. No, we were not aware Sir Astinian had returned to Ishgard. But as I expect you remember, he is wont to come and go as he pleases. Mayhap he came seeking an audience with Lord Americk, only to find him absent. In any event, I am afraid I cannot help you. Perhaps one of your companions has fared better. Well, that's it. That's all the searching we're gonna do. Oop, 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 oop. Let me see my husband. What's up, Chopsticks? Recently completed all the DLC story. Very good game. Uh, I have not played Eleven. No. This is one of the few Final Fantasies I have not played. <gasps> A ball? Yes, let's get all dressed up, all fancy. Go to the ball. Does Astinian still have the dragon eyes? Oh gosh, I can't remember anymore. Open the door, I need to sit on his lap. I lost the pictures. I had uh, like a hard drive crash and I lost the pictures uh, that I originally got sitting on uh, Amerik's lap. Sad face. Yeah, 11 is, is the other uh, online one. It's the older one. I like their glowy weapons. I need a glowy no weapon. No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? <laughs> not everybody's so excited about uh, Estinian as Alfie. <laughs> First the Scion's coin keeper, hey. and now you. 
I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Does he... This, oh my god. Does he, Wow. It's been too long. Does he think she's Alfie? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> too long. Oh no. You look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha No. How did he say that though? He was like, it's been too long as he walks up to Alfie. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you are gonna get wrecked. Quieter though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong silent type? <laughs> oh no! I am not Alfredo! <laughs> <laughs> if the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? <laughs> I, I was really scared she was gonna, like, anime punch him into the sky. Ugh! Had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. <laughs> Estinian Wormblood. The Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the dread worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. He's like, yeah, 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 I'm still processing the fact that Alfie's a twin. Oh my god. Ah! To think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. <laughs> the shiny eyes! And his tail! <laughs> and his tail up in the air! Oh man, why is this happening at night? Oh, so <laughs> you are popular, Estinian. Does someone mind explaining what is going on? <laughs> is everything all right? I thought I heard Alize shouting. I was gonna say Alfie's gonna hear Alize from across the whole freaking place. Estinian, it's been too long. <laughs> Now you gotta do- oh, there's two Alfies! Now you gotta do the- the head rub. Oh my god. Oh my god. Elizabeth's no, pissed! No, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. <laughs> Elize- uh, is gonna promptly change and, like, dye her hair. She's like, I am done being confused for Alfie. Well, I, for one, will not be making that mistake again. <laughs> He's going to study your every feature, Alfie. Make sure. Still, though, still, can we acknowledge that he, like, slowly walked up to, quote-unquote, Alfie? It was like, it's been too long, Alfie. <laughs> what I will say, for the second time today, is that you've grown inside and out. I can tell. A lot, of, a lot of talk about Alfie's, um, like, size and, and how he's, like, grown or not grown. I'm getting, I'm getting scared. Big Papa Stinian. One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. <laughs> you are anything but Alfie. You, he has. He has grown so much. I know, right? Alfie's gonna have some options. Oh At least God. someone's having a good time. You're so cute. Alize, don't be upset. You know, when we were growing up, Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. <laughs> but maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenvald. Aww. 
Was it because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge? Was that the reason he would never be friend other boys? Or was there other reasons? Did he did he feel funny? Or when he whenever he was around other boys? Huh? Did he did he maybe he wasn't he was feeling a little uncomfortable around other boys? No reason, no other reason at all. I'm just, I mean, this is some interesting Alfie backstory. I'm just, I mean, why was he uncomfortable befriending other boys? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna love my baby so much. He's gay. I never even considered. I never even considered. Alfie. Oh my gosh. Perhaps he sees them as the brothers he never had. I think he learned how to talk with people rather than at them. Ooh, yes, huge, huge growth. Well, you can't keep them all to yourself forever. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more Alfie fanfics af <laughs> after this patch. Two eligible hunky warrior bachelors, just his type. He lacks some tall. Huh? Um, ooh. You gotta go with. You gotta tease Alize. You gotta tease Alize. You can't keep them all to yourself forever, Alize. <laughs> keep him to my. <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? <laughs> I'd be glad if someone would take him off my hands. <laughs> you love him, Alize. No rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, his spirit. I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Azisla? How could I forget? The dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of bonds. Aye, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on Azisla, Aww. though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. Oh. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azislaw together? I'm not sure if Tataru mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. Yay! I see no reason why not. Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. <laughs> Be my guest. But confuse me with Alphano again and I'll throw you overboard. <laughs> I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. <laughs> I don't know if anybody could live up to what Alphano painted him to be. I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. <laughs> Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? <laughs> I want these two to fight over me more. Because that's hilarious. Expectation versus reality, that's right. Oh my god. Too good. Too good. Okay, Alpha, no. Is anybody. Oh, Grahatia, it's so hard to see. So, this is the Delta Quadrant, where countless dragons yet lie imprisoned. The great Tiamat among them, and the Borg. Tiamat summoned Bahamut once before. She may have again, willfully or no. Is Alize here in this man? There she is. Not to complain, but I didn't expect to find myself here again quite so soon. Hey, Skipper. It has been quite some time since last I set foot in Azizla. But I understand the three of you were here rather more recently. I don't suppose you chanced to meet with Tiamat during your visit. 
Alas, not. We had no cause to set foot here in the Delta Quadrant. But I have studied the re relevant records, which is not to say I wouldn't appreciate a first-hand account of your dealings with her. Well then, Luna is the person to ask. As far as I know, she's the only one of us to have met Tiamat face to face. Now she remains a prisoner of the Allegan Empire. Let's just say it helped that Megardsimer was there to introduce me. Oh, freaking Megardsimer. Um... Megardsimer. Megardsimer, that annoying little dragon helped me. Ah, yes, you were a friend of her father. I, too, have met with Tiamat. After the dragon song war came to a close, I came here to speak with her, a worm who had fought her own war against man in another age. I wished to know if she yet harbored thoughts of vengeance, and asked as much. She said no. My hatred for your kind was extinguished long ago. But the guilt she feels for resurrecting Bahamut burns on undimmed. It torments her even now. I see. Then your original reason for coming here was out of concern that Tiamat had been forced to summon Bahamut. Needhog is a part of me. I feel his emotions as my own. And I know that he would not allow his sister to be made a tool of evil. In his absence, it falls to me to watch over her. Here be dragons. Pizza! Popoto salad. Ah, uh, pizza? Yeah. She was Bahamut's mate and the original summoner of the Bahamut that was held inside Dalam. It was the Assians who taught Tiamat the secrets of summoning, even as they supplied the Allegans with the means to capture primals. So much suffering, all of it by design. Our grandfathers sacrificed everything to protect the realm from Bahamut. We must prepare. be prepared to do the same. The one of I don't wanna. The Azor Dragoons of history were the mortal enemies of the dragons, yet now they would be hard-pressed to find a soul who understood them better. A simian is ready to lead the way to Tiamat. Tiamat awaits. This way. Hi, J-Ray. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're feeling well today. Alright. Better catch. Can I fly? I can. Better cat with its little toe beans. Antithesis. Oh, come here. Wait a minute. Resigned to her fate though she may be, I cannot help but feel that we may be able to help Tiamat, would she only let us. Gosh. Ah. If there were others to talk to there, I couldn't find them. It was like moving. Edgin and Finn. Mm. My Who sire's mortal companion, what bringeth thee back to this forsaken me. place, child of man? It's plain she knows naught of recent events. Perhaps you should enlighten her. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that my sins should be repeated. 
I sense not the faintest stirring. As to who... Hi, Ariazon! Thank you so much for here to get comfy! Welcome! Just to hide real quickly from spoilers. Hi, Aria. Hi, Thundarian. Char. Are you did you bring all the Pokemon? Thundarian. Uh, Charlazard Chan. I love that name. Thank you. Thank you for coming to get comfy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream went well. Uh, let me know what cool things happened on Aria's stream today. I can't spoiler you. Okay. Oh, you got past this. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm loving it so far. It's so good. I laughed so much at Alfie and Astinian. Alfie and his, like, man crushes. <laughs> Am I right? As to who could have called him forth, I know of none save the dragons, Maracida, our children. The Icon claimed their souls when he first manifested, and robbed of their will, they became tools for the Allegan's dark designs. I've seen it with my own eyes. Captives of a lost empire, neither alive nor dead, existing only to preserve Bahamut's corporeal form. Yes. The dragons of Mericidia are at the mercy of this Asian. There can be no other explanation. The dragons! Oh no. Hi, James! Yes, Alf Alfie and his gay panic. Poor guy. Very entertaining. Accursed Asians, vile minions of darkness. Again, you would profane the memory of my beloved and strip our children of their freedom, their dignity. Are there no depths to which you will not stoop? That is such a cool shot. Like, look at that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you loved it, James. You're gonna do the dungeon tomorrow? Nice. Yeah, I, uh, I only have about 15 minutes till yum yum time. Uh, so I definitely won't, um, finish this today, but we'll do, we'll do, we'll finish it up and we'll do the dungeons and all that kind of stuff, uh, as soon as we can. Food panic. <laughs> oh no, there's food. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Your children's pain means nothing to them. They laugh at your kind suffering. But tears will not right this wrong, nor will lamentation see the perpetrators punished. What wouldst thou have from me, drag slayer of dragons? Behavior befitting a great worm. He's, he's gonna make making her angry. We came here to ask mighty Tiamat of the first brood, consort of Bahamut, mother of the dragons of Maracidia, what she intends to do about the crimes committed against her children. Pissing her off. Were I free, I would answer thine insolence with fire, but words shall have to suffice. Recall, mortals, that it was I who did first summon my beloved, praying with all my being to bring him forth. You who contend with icons cannot well be ignorant of the consequence. You too were exposed to his influence. That you are yet in possession of your own will 
is testament to the indomitable strength of your soul. But were you to meet with Bahamut again, you fear you might succumb. Indeed. Ask the Dragon Slayer, and he will tell thee the power we of the first brood wield. Were I to lose myself to the Icon's influence, all would pay the price. But it is of little matter, for even I, had I the strength to resist, I yet lack the strength to break my shackles. This prison shall be my tomb. Oof. Oof. Rough. On the matter of Bahamut's influence, at least, I believe we can be of some assistance. If you're afraid of being enthralled, don't be. We have a cure. And while we've never tried it on one such as you, its basic principles are universal. Speakest thou in earnest? There is no future for those bound to the past. She's like, I have this pig. That you committed a terrible sin, I do not dispute. But if you feel remorse, you may yet make amends. We offer you that chance. Take it, or you will forever remain a prisoner. Not of these cruel shackles, but of your own guilt. Oof. Alfie rolls diplomacy. A chance to make amends, to lay Bahamut's memory to rest. When our own star faced annihilation, Hydaelyn granted us sanctuary, and now your foes would bring about her destruction. This I cannot allow. For the debt I owe to Hydaelyn and to all who have suffered for my sins, I shall fight with you, children of man. Yeah! Ah, Eliandra, thank you! Ah, thank you so much! You've been sick! I'm so sorry! Good luck with the results, hon! I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. It would seem she still has some pride after all. Let's see if she's as good as her word. I won't make, it won't make up for what she's suffered at the hands of men, but if there's a chance we can free her, truly free her, we owe it to her to try. Alfie? Some, somewhere there's an Alfie in here? Can, is there a, like a tab? Uh, Estinian... Al Alfie? Uh, Al Alize... Al Alfie... Nope, nope. Stop, get... No, we're not crying yet. I can't find Alfie. Uh, <laughs> oh man, patch day crowds. This, this makes me happy I don't normally play this on patch day. Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah, Guild Wars, I'm used to this in Guild Wars on patch day because Guild Wars, I, I play patches the moment they come out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm used to this from that game, not this one. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna end it here because I have to go in, like, 10-15 minutes for yum yum time. But, before we go, I've got a package to open from James. Oops. Wait a so, bye, Luna. We'll see you tomorrow for more of the, uh, MSQ. Yay. Oh, my God. It was so good so far. It was so good so far. 
I can't, Alfie. This is the trailer that like Alfie like punched someone. Alfie gets really mad. Alize was so pissed. Alize was so mad that Astinian mistook her for Alfie. Oh my god. So good. Ordered it from a friend of mine in their Etsy store. It's a belated birthday gift. Oh, thank you, James. I got an envelope to my P.O. box from James. Um, I love the I love the the stamp. Please do not bend. Ah, reminds me of Alien Capan. That is the best. I need a do not bend stamp. It's a please, please do not bend. I need it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, the dungeon. It's gonna be good. Ah, oh, I need my... Let's see. Can I do it with this? I'm gonna get the scissors. It'll be safer. Hold on. It's some prints that fit me. Okay. I figured it, because just because of the size, I figured it was prints. I love fan art. Thank you for supporting artists. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Always support fan artists when you can. Yeah, for sure, Ankh. There's a lot. There's so much to this game. <laughs> Brit K. Kaylee, illustrator. At Brit K. Kaylee on all the places. Ah. Yay. Oh, wait. I think that's just a shipping label or a shipping thing. Oh no, no, wait, there's a message. Uh to Peachy, may the light of the moon guide you and may her grace keep you well. Happy belated birthday, my best James. Thank you! Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. I love the paper it comes in. It's so cute. It's so pretty. It's sparkly. Yeah, feel free to uh, feel free to throw the uh, link right in chat if you want. Oh my god! There you go. I'm sorry, my cam does not autofocus. It does not do the autofocus. Ah, oh, Aurora, thank you so much for your support. It really means the world to me. Much love from Brit. That's so cute. I love when the artist put like a personal message, a little personal like handwritten note in there it's so sweet well thank you james look how pretty <gasps> look at the colors in her hair look at the colors in her hair oh my gosh look at her eyelashes look at her lips oh it's so pretty oh look at the rose on her shoulder oh my god sorry you're seeing the reflection of like my desktop it's too shiny <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's freaking beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I'm excited. What's the other one? I'm excited. I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, this is... <laughs> It's that Sailor Moon meme that was the redraw meme that was going around. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a really pretty one. Wow, even Prezi did this. It's it was a uh, it's a screenshot from the show, and for a while on Twitter, um, it, it was like a redraw meme. All artists redrew this screenshot in their style. What a good idea to sell that as a print. It's freaking beautiful. I love how she does the eyes. The eyes are so pretty. 
And I love the hair. I love that the hair is not like perfect. You've got like the flyaways because it's like a really intense moment. Oh, so people did so many things. They redrew it in their style. They made it into a joke. People got really creative with it. Even you did that challenge, Sailor Jupiter. It was it was a lot of fun. It was just appreciation for like a, a you know frame of animation from the show. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> James, thank you! Thank you so much for the prints and thank you for supporting artists. Thank you so much. These are really nice too. These are like, are these like mounted or is they are they just like I think they're just um uh like in with um like a, a cardboard backing so that they don't get bent. Yeah. I have so much art. I need to get just like a bunch of frames. Yeah, it's like a cardboard like mounting back. Wow. What a beautiful art style. It's a very like painterly. It's like a painting with all the different colors. I especially love this one. This one's so pretty. Little skipper. What are you doing, little skipper cake? You wanna say bye? You wanna see the picture? Can you see the picture? She's like, it's almost yum yum time. I know it's almost yum yum time. Oh, those are some of her twitchy modes. The little panda. The little panda. Hey, what's up, Sharkles? Good to see you. Hope you've been well. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love her, her eyelashes. And I love that she has brown eyebrows. So pretty. Skipper's ready for her chicken drip shower. What's Mr. P even making today? I can't see because he's hosting me. I can't see what his title is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you, James. Thank you. Ah. I heard something about Etsy a while ago, um, which if you don't know is a website where artists can sell their prints, um, their merch, or artists can sell their merch. Um, I heard once that, I don't know if it's still a thing, that if you see an ad for Etsy, don't click on the ad go directly to to etsy.com because it'll like take if you go through an ad it like takes revenue f away from the artist if you buy something because you click the because you clicked an ad something like that i don't know they were being weird and trying to get more money um so yeah uh uh Etsy's the biggest one there's also like store envy is another one um that you'll find a lot of stuff on uh, I swear, I got... I don't, did I get this on store? I might have gotten this on store envy. I forget. There's there's a bunch of them. I just got this one from an artist. Um, I don't know where the little card went. I forget. I, I order so many that I forget who, who made what. I'm so bad with that. Um, it's, it's Yeah, it's something like that, Cal. Yeah, it's something like that. So, always go directly there. <laughs> Who is a good girl? Who is a good girl? Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, thank you for hanging out today, guys. We're just going to hang out for a couple minutes until Mr. P starts his stream. And then uh, I'll send you guys over there. And then I'll meet you guys over there. And uh, we will um, we will eat yummy food. Mr. P will make a yummy dinner like he does every weekday night. At 6 o'clock on the dot. And... Uh, then we eat it on stream together. We have dinner with you guys every every weekday night. Are the sound effects not working? No, someone someone did it earlier, didn't they? I think Eternal was doing sound effects. Yeah, they're on. They should be they should be working. It's two exclamation points for the sound effects. Bye, Arya. Have a good night. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, yeah. If I see you on Mr. P's stream, that would be awesome. Oh, maybe that one's not a sound effect anymore. 
Oh, she also plays 14? And she's a fun fun like you? Nice. Did you, Cal? <laughs> as long as you always have your, uh, your potato. Have to take a pick of what my wife has going tonight. Garlic chicken, potatoes, veggies in the crock pot. Ooh, it's been cooking for five hours. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Oh, it did work. I, I literally barely hear them anymore. I've been listening- There we go. I've been listening to those same sound effects for, for so many years. It, it's like the messages in chat, like Peachy's Amazon referral link. I literally don't see it anymore. <laughs> Cause they've been the same thing for so long. There's Mr. P. Oh, that's right. We're having pierogies and veggies tonight. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yes. He's gonna steam veggies and then make pierogies. Bye, Skipper. He's she's like, oh my god, food. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna go to Mr. P's for yum yum time. So I will meet you guys over there on his stream for the yum yums. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, my beautiful peaches. Or I, I assume I'm gonna, it, 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 as long as nothing nothing comes up, as long as I feel okay, which I should, um, I will see you tomorrow for more of the Final Fantasy XIV MSQ. Yeah. Alright, my beautiful peaches. Bye. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much to all the love and support. Um, Allie, thank you so much for modding today. Um, I know Dragon Tears was here. Uh, Happy stopped by for a minute. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, and thank you for hanging out. Thank you for all the support and the love and just for sharing your geeky selves. Bye, friends! Bye, Spark! Thank you! Um, oh, let me pop, for anybody who happens to be new, let me pop my social media links in the chat in case you want to check out YouTube, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Instagram. We got all of those. Um, so... Uh, check those out if you wish, and uh, have a beautiful evening, my wonderful, happy, shiny peaches. Go with love. Stay healthy, stay happy, take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.